Is that how you miss it? <laughs> why, why are you clapping? There's no audio to sync up to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am traveling. So when you see this, I will be in Florida. Hopefully where it's, you know, 75 degrees and not disgusting, like it is here, where it was 12 degrees this morning. So I, I mentioned earlier that I was going to have to pre-film this video, but that I was gonna try to do it a little bit more entertaining since it was going to be a pre-film. So we do have a special guest again. Alvin, the chipmunk hello. boyfriend, is back. Hello. hello. Hello, hello. So, if you guys have not seen, and I, I don't think I said this, we're doing a weekly wish list or washout. So if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and what? Do you know the line? I don't want to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything. That is way too long for No, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> It's the line, I say it every week. Okay. It's too long for me. And I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything is a total washout. So, if you like this weekly series, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you want to see any more. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. I'm debating whether I want you to react to things I talked about last week or if we just talk about new things. Nice. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So, this is the Too Faced Pretty Mess eyeshadow palette I talked about last week. What do you think about that shadow palette? It's called the Pretty Mess palette. Meh. 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 That's a waste of real estate. Exactly. Fox real estate. Exactly. That's why, that's why a lot of us were irritated because not only is it a hot mess and it's not arranged nicely, the packaging itself, that shiny stuff, would be so messy and such a pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, if it's the... Pretty mess title, but yeah. That, that's a, the, the box. The box. The packaging could be better. Exactly. That's what I said. I was like, this is a hot mess, but can I really fault them if their whole theme is hot mess? Like, I don't know. But it. I'm definitely not gonna get it. It's a hot f mess. <laughs> How much is it? I don't know, but their palettes range between thirty-five and fifty dollars. That's a bit much for, for that. what it for that and since it I'm guessing it's not that much per per uh, per color. shadow? No. Yeah. No, it's not. It is not economical. Yeah, so apparently what they're doing is this is a collab with one of the real housewives of New York <laughs> and her theme is pretty pretty mess, hot mess. Mm. So that's what they're going for. But I still don't appreciate it. Don't support them. No, I will not. Ah! So next on the list is... Lashes. Let's go through lashes. these. So Huda Beauty is doing a collab with Jacqueline... S -s something. Uh, who is a Bollywood actress. So they're coming out with a new Jacqueline lash. So what do you think about these eyeshadow? What do you think about these new eyelashes? And very thick. Very thick, yes. Very full, very glamorous. Can't really tell from the pictures, cause... So that's what they look like on. I think you've only ever seen me with lashes on like once. Marble. Or twice. Marble. I don't really tend to go for lashes as a whole, but I don't really like them. Do mm. you want to guess how much they are? $50. Oh, wow, you overshot that to <laughs> hell and back. They're $19. <laughs> I thought because Bollywood actress so yeah that would increase but lashes the are price for... i mean that's expensive for a lash like yeah. you can get lashes from cvs yeah for a couple of bucks so 19 is steep and uh one thing is that when it comes to eyes like mine where they're really really hooded mm -hmm. a lot of lashes can look kind of ridiculous on me mm. so i don't really tend to go for lashes because of that why not go full-blown peacock lashes let's not go full-blown peacock these are new brushes from Sigma. Sigma are some of my favorite brushes, my favorite brand of all time. What do you think these brushes are used for? Like uh, fine detail work? What kind of fine detail work? Eyes. Okay, so eye brushes? Yeah. So these are uh, concealer brushes. Yeah. So you would use them to apply concealer 
right down here. So I was, do I get partial credit? You get partial credit. Yeah. But whenever it comes to under eye concealer, <laughs> I've mentioned this in a previous video, I just go for a sponge. Because mm -hmm. a sponge can apply the concealer mm -hmm. and set it a lot better for my under eyes than brushes can. And you would have more precision with sponges than a brush because of the little hairs yeah yeah you can get the brush strokes with this as opposed mm. to the sponge so another pass for us but i have to feel it <laughs> you want to touch the brushes yes like i do every single time we go to ulta or <laughs> sephora <laughs> or you you have fun oh okay so what about these tom ford do you know anything about tom ford mm -mm. okay so you see these lipsticks Forget the perfume. See the lipsticks? Mm -hmm. Just guess how much they cost. 40? Oh, that might not be too far off. Let's check. Prices, right? Rules or? 55. So. $55. But prices, right? Rules. If you're playing by yourself, yes, then you won't <laughs> buy the prices. <laughs> so these are $55 each. That. How big are they? They're not that big, they're like this big. But they're Tom Ford, so you're paying for the luxury brand. So the, you're basically buying it for the name. Exactly. At which point, what do we say? Pass? No, we're not gonna get this. This is way too much money for a stupid lipstick that doesn't even look that good. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. 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 This is from Lancome. Lancome foundations are notoriously expensive and very hit or miss. This is the new Tent Idol Ultra Wear Nude Foundation. So it's supposed to be a very light coverage foundation. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Can I just say, yes. hit or miss, you did good. You did it good. Not hit and miss, it's hit or miss. But yeah, it's, it has a good range. It, but, does, it does have a good shade range, but so, so in my experience, mm -hmm. going for really expensive nude or sheer coverage foundations mm -hmm. is a huge waste of money because you can get the same coverage from cheaper foundations. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you're really only buying it for the name. Mm -hmm. And let's see how much this is. 150. I don't think it's that much, but it's going to be around 80 probably. So I don't see, yeah, I don't see a price, but it's mm. gonna be around 80. Yeah, light coverage, up to 24 hour wear, light rate, no. <laughs> and you're probably not gonna use the full range of colors. No. So you're basically buying a whole set just to no. use light. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> so those are all the options they uh, offer. You're only buying one. I don't know. Yeah. But it's good that they do have a large shade range because they mm. are catering to more skin tones. I would, I would just never buy this. Mm -hmm. It's way too much money and for light coverage. If I'm going to spend that much money on an expensive foundation, it's going to be a full coverage, beautiful, magical foundation, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat eyeshadow palette. Kit Is, uh, oh, what's the candy company? Is it Mars? Nestle. Nestle? Nestle. They're getting into the oh, makeup so, game? Oh, oh, so it, this is Etude House. You know Etude House, right? Nope. It's that Korean beauty brand? Racist. <laughs> Your mom bought me stuff from there when she went back to Korea. <laughs> oh. So it's a Korean beauty brand and they come out sometimes with collabs like this and they're coming out with the Kit Kat one. Now Kit Kat... <laughs> Kit Kat palette. Now, the idea is very cute. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. It's very the, organized also. It's very organized, but the shades, like if I were to take away the Kit Kat everything and just look at the colors, mm -hmm. it's boring as all hell. Right? Yeah. Like, for someone like me that owns how many eyeshadow palettes I own, so much. I don't need to buy this just for the packaging because I own so much already. Yeah. But if you light on, you light, yeah, it could be a good addition. 
So if you don't have as many palettes, um, there's a lighter version, there's a darker version. They're cute. And also, like, because of how long it is, it would probably be easy to, like, put on the brush or sponge or whatnot. Good. So the, the pan sizes are a good size so that you can use them with a variety of your tools. Personally, I'm not going to pick these up because I know they're, it's pretty much just a packaging thing. And but, I already have so much. And I already have all these shades in my collection. Exactly. Yeah, so much. You don't have to keep saying it. <laughs> oh, so this one I'm actually kind of really interested in. This is from Positions Formula. This is the Rosé All Stay, except for All Day, Illuminating Setting Spray. So this is a setting spray from Positions Formula. It's supposed to be rose scented. They're also coming out with a Rosé All Night actual like cream product to use at night. I want to try out their setting sprays because I've never tried a setting spray from Zizhen's Formula, so I'm kind of interested, but I don't know what the price would be. Looks like the price for the cream is $9.95. That's affordable for a cream, but I don't see a price for the spray. Yeah. What are your thoughts? No real thoughts. Because, you know, setting spray, not really. What were you going to say? It's a setting spray, not really uh, visual. But it's important. Setting spray is important. I use it that, every day. Yes, but that. But you still put stuff on my jacket. Setting spray is not to prevent transfer. <laughs> setting spray is to make sure that your makeup looks beautiful all day. But you're also the one that hugs me with your jacket on, so. Mm. Oh, okay. So I really wanted to talk about these. These are new quads from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So ABH comes out with like these bigger palettes like my Pan That Palette for 2019 and Modern Renaissance. They've got all these big palettes. So they tend to come out with palettes with 12 pans in them. For the first time, they're coming out with smaller palettes. So these little quads. So it's like a testy thing? I don't know. I think they're just trying to do something new because they've come out with basically the same size palette for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. That would be reasonable. Yeah, I think it's because a really... Because mm -hmm. if you really like a certain color, you don't have to buy a whole set. To... Yeah. So I think it's really good. Like, it's really different for the brand as a whole since they do tend to come out with the same 12-pan palettes over and over again. So it's a really nice move. I just don't really like using smaller palettes. I don't really go for the smaller palettes. So I'm not gonna buy these. But if you like any of these color stories and you're really interested in the ABH formula and you don't wanna pick up one of their bigger palettes, would definitely recommend one of these. I like I don't, the blue one. The blue one's cute, I just don't know. Okay, so they're $32 each though. Mm. Mm, okay, so that yeah, that's that, a little bit expensive. That for gets me. Four. That gets me because four. well, because their big palettes are forty two. Why are they charging thirty five, thirty two dollars for four shades when I can get twelve for forty two? Packaging. Ew. No, I take that back. I don't recommend these. <laughs> I don't. You would recommend it if it was cheap. If they were like around twenty dollars, yeah. But where the hell are they getting away with charging $32 for four shade? No. Cancel that shit. <laughs> so Melt Cosmetics is coming out with two new highlighter shades, I think, in the shades Phoenix and Rosy Copper. I've never tried highlighters from this brand before, but I've tried out one of their eyeshadow palettes, their Green Smoke Sessions palette. Mm -hmm. Did I show you that one? Maybe. The one that has all the marijuana leaves on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that brand is coming out with new highlighters. I like the colors, though. They're cute colors. I just, I would want to see, are they the packaging, package, are yeah. they packaging them like packaging the two hearts? kind of. Or are they individual? Like, I, I want to see the full packaging, and I also want to know how much they're going to be. Because, uh, for nothing. an nothing. Well, because for an indie brand, they can be a little expensive mm -hmm. because they're not carried. Mass produced or... Yeah, they're not carried in stores. So we'll keep an eye on these and see how they actually look like. Oh, the brush collection heard around the world. Jeffree Star came out with a collaboration with Morphe Cosmetics. Can you believe it? No. Can no. you believe it? No. no. 
So there's controversy. Do you know why there's controversy? <laughs> no, I okay. do not. So Jeffree Star, do you know who Jeffree Star is? Vaguely. Okay. From you. Thank you. <laughs> so Jeffree Star has his own cosmetics company. Mm. He can come out with whatever he really wants to come out with. Morphe is the makeup company that is kind of not a scam, but they're a very cheap brand that keeps collabing with YouTubers because YouTubers are like, use my code, use my code, use my code, because they make money off of it, right? So that's why Morphe became so big is because it's affordable and because YouTubers kept shilling their Morphe codes. So now Jeffree Star, a large beauty influencer and brand owner in his own right, is coming out with a collab with Morphe when he stated before that he wouldn't really collab with anybody. Mm. Yeah, so everyone's questioning why is he coming out with a collab when he owns his own brand and could afford to make anything that he wants. Blackmail. Well, no. <laughs> One of the main um, conspiracy theories is that he owns Morphe stock. Oh, God. Because the, the brand, so you know there are Morphe stores. There's one in uh, Jersey Gardens. There's one, there's a few Morphe stores where they actually carry Jeffree Star products. Mm -hmm. So they carry his line in their stores. So I'm guessing to increase the stock price on the Maybe, but if, what everyone's thinking is that he actually owns part of Morphe's stock. And that's the only reason why he would do the collab. I think it's definitely possible because he hasn't said a bad thing about Morphe. Morphe just came out with their new foundation, which was a hot garbage crash train wreck thing. It was just, uh, meh. That, that foundation was staining people's skin. Is it a subsidiary of Jeffree Star? Or mm -hmm. Complete, I don't know. No, it's, right. it's totally different. But they think he owns part of it. Yeah, okay. So. That there's the T. Uh, so on top of that... Why not just blackmail? Blackmail would be easier. Don't... Stop, men crimes. stop mentioning blackmail. It's not blackmail that we know of. So... Commit crimes. Um, stop it. Crimes are so Stop. Fun. Okay, so on top of all of this, Jeffree Star is coming out with a brush set with Morphe, and that's what it is. It looks like Barbie makeup. It real pink. Yeah, and it looks... Bleh. And one girl. stop, yeah, stop, stop, stop. One funny thing that everyone's pointing out is that this is a brush set, right? Mm. This is a spoolie. What's a spoolie? You use a spoolie to brush your eyebrow hairs, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone's saying that why is there a spoolie? He doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> he shaves his eyebrows. Like he doesn't have eyebrows. Does he draw them on? Yeah. And so everyone's like, why is there a spoolie in the collection? He doesn't have eyebrows. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna buy this collection. Morphe brushes are super, 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 super hit or miss. I have some brushes I love from Morphe and I've had brushes fall apart in my hands from Morphe. So I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy any more. You have so many brushes anyway. I, shut up, yes, I do. But I'm not gonna get these. So this palette actually looked really interesting to me. What do you think about this? This is yeah, it has a very good layout. Yes, I love this layout. So this is from Milan Row Cosmetics. This is the Iconic Couture Eyeshadow Palette. It's available for pre-order, but it's forty Rex. <laughs> Are you done? Uh... Are you done barking? Are you? This palette. It's for pre-sale currently. It is $40. It ships $218. I like how this palette looks, but I think $40 might be a bit steep. <laughs> I think $40 might be a bit steep. Yeah. But it really depends on the size. But if it's a standard... It's a standard, it would be about this size. But you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 shadows. Yeah. And you're looking at $42 being the price point of a nice, high-quality, mid-range brand. Mm -hmm. And this is an indie brand, so it's not even $40 you'd be paying... 
you'd be paying $40 and then shipping. Mm -hmm. I, I really like how this looks. I'm interested, but I'm just going to keep an eye on it because I, I still think 40 is a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Rex, what do you think? Look at these. Rex. Rex, what do you think of those? <laughs> what are those? He doesn't care. <laughs> look how pretty these look though. Look at that green. It's yeah, very glittery. It's very glittery. I have no idea what these are. Let's take a look. So this <coughs> is from Chaos Makeup. And they're called Pressed Multi Chromes and they're available for pre-order. I have to look to see how much these are, but that green is calling to me. And that red. Oh my god. Ooh, what do we think about this palette? Yeah, it's very crayony. Yeah, it's very bright. This is the uh, Disco Dynamite palette from Glisten <coughs> Cosmetics. Mm. I like the yellow and I like the blues, mm. but I don't think there's really much of a color story going on here. Mm, no. No. How about this one? Mm. It's very colorful. So this is a new palette from Misfit Cosmetic, oh no, nope, I lied, Misfit Beauty Co. And it's available February 1st. Um, I haven't personally tried this brand. I'm intrigued about the color story, but I am a bit worried about the ratio of mattes to shimmers because I do see the majority of these are matte, but not the colors I would want to be matte. Like I really want that green one to be matte, it's not a matte shade. I want the two blues on the left to be matte. They're shimmers, so uh, the only downside to indie brands is you won't see them in person mm -hmm. unless you buy them. Mm -hmm. So how much is it to experiment? Uh, you don't get to experiment. You just buy them or you don't. Mm -hmm. That's what happens with indie makeup. What do you think about this palette? It's very blue. It is. I like the green, but it is more blue leaning. This is from OMFG Cosmetic. Oh, how much is it? How much is this palette? They don't have a price, but I just saw their minimum for free shipping is $60. So I'm guessing it's a little bit less than 60. I don't know. Uh, I I'm think... guessing like 40-ish. See, I'm only but... brought in by this palette because of that one green. I know if I covered up that one green, it's a blue palette. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not that interested in it. Okay, so I wanna show you this palette. Mm -hmm talked about this a few weeks ago, but what do you think about that one? It's very green. Very green. What do you think? It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot on the palette. In a good it's way? A, it's a good swatch set. So this is the Certify Affinity 2 palette that I've had my eyes on since they first released the sneak peek. They actually released a photoshopped version of this and said, this is our color story that we're thinking of. Are you interested? And everyone went, hell yeah, we're interested. And so they came out with the actual palette. Mm. And I can't wait for it to drop because the minute it comes out, I'm buying it. The minute. You know the price. The minute. Uh, It's a price, it's money. It's a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise. Okay, and I think that's plenty. Let me look at all the pictures that we have right now. Yeah, that should be plenty to talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching this special edition of the Weekly Wow. Again, I am traveling and this was pre-filmed. Thank you to both Rex and Alvin for joining me on this week's video. If you guys liked them, give this video a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.